What's up everyone, GK King here, back here with another video. This is how to get the new railgun inside of GTA 5. Now, it's very simple. Now, I do have job links for this. I will have them in the description. One will be for Xbox and two will be for PlayStation. Now, it will show up in this category that I have highlighted right now on my weapons wheel. It will be in your heavy weapons. Right now, my friend doesn't have it, but I do. Ew. And i show you what this bad boy can do. Check this out. Just like that one shot. It can blow up any car. Or. So. It's very simple. But I'm going to go ahead and take the easy way out. To lose these cops real quick. But. If you don't have the job bookmarked. You're going to bookmark the job. In the description. For your console. At, whatever it's for. Xbox or playstation and you want to restart your gta so if you had your gta open wise i uh started my bookmark that job you will have to restart it for it to show up and the only way you'll be able to bookmark the job is if you have a rockstar social club account if you don't have one head on over to a rockstar ours uh social club website on your mobile device or on your uh, laptop whatever you're on whichever you prefer and create yourself an account you can make one with your xbox profile or you can make one with your playstation profile or you can make one with just signing up with your own email address yes but it's pretty simple pretty easy and that's also how you get into gta cruise and stuff so it's pretty neat it's a good idea to have one if you don't have one by now so it's very simple, so you just want to open up your pause menu. Once you have that thing bookmarked, you want to go to online, go to jobs, play a job, and you want to it'll go to it'll bookmark. Now, before you do that, it's very important you make sure you do this. You want to make sure you have on an outfit that you are able to change outfits. So if you have an outfit that has a duffel bag on it. And you're not able to change your outfit. When you put on that particular outfit. You want to make sure you uh, put on a different outfit. Prior to starting up the job. Or joining someone that's starting the job. And on top of that. You are going to want to make sure you have no parachute on. But you want to make sure you do own parachutes. It's because you will need to put a parachute on during the job. Um, so all you want to do now is have the person that bookmarked the job started up. Yes, you can join someone else that has the job bookmarked and you can get the gun from them. So you just want them to start the job. It'll be under online jobs, play a job, bookmark, and it'll be under death matches. And it's called all uh, the rail gun. Uh, so you just want to start it up. Now I am playing on Xbox. But the method does work on PlayStation as well. So once we get to the job menu. We're just going to invite our friend. Now whoever is the host of this. us This can hold up to 8 people. So up to 7 more people can join the host. And everyone can get the gun. I'm just going to turn off the radio real quick so it's not annoying. So once we get the radio off and our friend has joined, all we want to do is just confirm all the settings inside of the mission. And we just want to start it up. Once we get inside the mission, everyone that is trying to get the gun, all they want to do is just keep blowing their self up. It's that simple. And then every single time they blow their self up, uh, they want to keep checking their weapons wheel to see if they have it. Once they have it, it then I will tell you the next steps. Yep, so we're just going to wait for my friend to blow himself up until he noticed that he has it. You see, I already have it. it. So I don't have to blow myself up, but you just want to keep throwing down grenades. Until you and blow yourself up every single time you respawn in, you want to keep checking your weapons wheel to see if you have it. 
So you must go through all your heavy weapons to see if you have it. Once you have it, once he has it, my friends will come to me so I know that he has it. He's going to come to where I'm at on the map. <clears throat> so he just wants to flick through all his heavy weapons and then come to me on the map once he has the gun. It might take you two or three times. It might make you take you six times to blow yourself up. Until you have it. So we're just going to wait for him to come to me. That will tell me that he has it and I'll be able to tell you the next steps. So every time he kills himself he spawns in. He just wants to check all the heavy weapons to see if he sees it. he's the gun. This is the gun that he is looking for, or if you are doing it, you are looking for this gun right here. <coughs> so all we want to do is just make sure we're not going to get kicked for being idle. So my friend just going to look for us on the map. He should see where we're at. And he's going to come to us once he has the gun. So we're just waiting for him to come to us. So now that we see our friend just right here by us, us all he's going to want to do is for everyone that has the new gun, they're going to want to open up their interactions menu and they want to go to inventory, go to ammo, and they are going to want to go to one time on the left with the D-pad where they get to all ammo. And they want to purchase ammo. From there they want to go into style. Change their character's outfit. And put on a parachute. If they have a parachute on. Prior to trying to change their outfit. They're going to want to take that parachute off. To change their outfit. And then. But now their outfit will not actually change in the job. But they just have to know that they press. To go to a switch to a different outfit to press A on it, and then they want to put that parachute back on. Once they do so, they want to open their pause menu, go to online, and they want to go to find new session. And it doesn't matter if they load into an invite only or a public. Once they get into that session, we will tell you the next step. This is the final steps of saving it. Now they're going to load into the session with side with the gun. From there what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to load into that session. And they just want to shoot the gun a few times. And then they want to go in and purchase ammo. Oh, Once they purchase ammo again they want to change their character outfit and put on a parachute to force a game save. Once they do that, then they are good to go. They will have the gun. So all my friend wants to do is once he's in a session, doesn't matter if it's a public invite only friend session, does not matter. All he wants to do is shoot the gun a couple of times and then he is going to want to you know, open up his interactions menu, go to the M Inventory, go to ammo, and then purchase all ammo 
and then change his character outfit and put on the parachute to force the game save. Once he does that, he's going to join my game and we're going to show you that I have the gun and he has the gun. And even if he was to restart his game, he would still have the gun. You do get to keep the game per gun permanently. Now this gun is not out in the game at all. The only way to get it is through the job that I do have linked in the, des in the description. So we're just going to wait for my friend to join. And we're going to have him meet up with me. And he's going to show you that he has it. And I'm going to show you that I have it. As you see, I already had the gun. So now he's just going to come to where I'm at. And he'll see that we both have it. As you see, he has it and I have it. And it is a pretty simple, easy glitch. If y'all did find this glitch very successful, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and join my GTA Discord server. And I will catch y'all inside of the next video. Peace out, and I'm gone.